nothing. And this is Lucky Time Explosion. Wow. Boom, 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 boom. Happy Wednesday. Happy hump day, Morgan. Yeah. Yeah. I can't believe I even made it this far. But, yeah. um, you know, today actually is March 20th. And, um, you know, there happens to be a lot of strange things to celebrate today. What weird day is today? Let I'm going to rock know. you. Yeah, rock my world. I'm, I'm excited. What is it? Is it National Toothpaste Day? So, first of all, I want to let you know that today is International Day of Happiness. Yay! Yay! I'm happy already. That made me so happy. Yeah, if you like ravioli, well, this is also the day for you. I don't think that's a coincidence. No? No, ravioli day and happy day together? What makes people happy? True, then why isn't it an International Weed Day? Well, ravioli makes, makes you happier. So you. <laughs> okay, also, Alien Abduction Day. Oh, wait, like the day that you need to get abducted by an alien or the day that most people get? It just get? says, do you believe in aliens? Maybe you will when you're done reading this clickbait piece of shit article. <laughs> Maybe they're just making a separate clickbait. No way. Clickbait? We should make more clickbaity titles. The, the title of this episode should be something like, you know, alien discovered in Mexico. It doesn't even need to make sense because according to this, it's also dogs in yellow day. Put your dogs in yellow. If you have a dog and you're listening, please do the right thing and dress your dog in yellow today. Because if you don't, um, and you can take you're messing this up. in different ways. Today is the Great American Meat Out Day. Meat out? Now I don't know if that's like a food thing. Or... Hold up, how's meat spelled? M e a t. It is Meat Out Day. It's Meat Out Day. <laughs> We're not Be allowed careful. to eat anything except meat today. We have to go on the Jordan Peterson diet. Here is day, meat day. That's pe- disgusting. It is. I love it, it though. But I also love my every day's meat, meat out when you're uh, meat out day when you're from Texas. I love meat. I do too. I eat meat. I'm a big meat guy. I'm not I'm a sorry. vegan. I'm sorry. We're so sorry. And I feel bad for the animals, but I don't even think that the meat that we get is coming from animals anymore anyway. So <laughs> you know, but it here's is. A good one. They're just poorly treated, and they should be treated better. I agree. I, I agree. thought I thought I was vegan. Well, I was vegan. I was actively like vegan and macrobiotic for a long time. And, How did that go? <clears throat> well, one day I was starving, 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 and I was walking Sorry. through North Beach. Yeah, don't laugh at my starvation. <laughs> I was walking through North Beach in San Francisco, and I saw this woman walking her wiener dog, and it took like a lot of effort for me to not like attack and eat the wiener dog. That's how hungry I was, and I thought oh, to myself, I'm not a vegetarian. Because if I were starving, I could easily kill an animal for food. I still respect them. I don't hate that wiener dog, but I was really hungry, and that's what taught me that I'm not a veggie. (laughs) I hear you. That's awesome. I should never tell that story. You spared the wiener dog. You spared the life. Of course, I'm not going to kill someone's wiener dog and eat them on the street. Depends on what state of mind you're in, state of the country, state of everything. <laughs> you got to do what you got to do to survive. Yeah. You know? <laughs> in other news, the country uh, inches closer to wiener dog eating territory. <laughs> <laughs> We're in trouble, folks. Get out there Keep and Keep your wiener dogs caged. Yeah. So also, it's National Jump Out Day. Now, if you're in a, a, a high building and the window is open. Don't celebrate don't this day. celebrate this day. What is the day of jump out? Jump out of what day? Just says National Jump Day. So, you know, don't take this, you know, the opportunity to jump into the tracks, jump out the window. Just jump it, up and down. And yeah. I think you'll be okay. I think you'll be okay. Like crisscross. It should be International Crisscross jump, Day. Jump. Do, you know any, do jump, you know any jump. Vanessa's? I don't. Is it Vanessa Day too? Why are there so many? It can't be this many days. There needs to be a law. It's against, National Vanessa Day. No, there needs to be a law about how many. I'm sorry, Vanessa, but there there needs to be a Here's, law against how many days we can have. You're gonna like this one. Oh boy, it's National Snowman Burning Day. What the hell? <laughs> I swear to God, I man. think these people have like too much time on their hands. Oh, can I just say something? Can I ask Absolutely you something? Absolutely not. What? Will you be mine? Will you be my? Will you be my neighbor? I love it's Mr. National Rogers. Neighbor Day. Won't you be my neighbor day? National, won't you be my neighbor day? So yeah. that is a um, that's a Mr. Rogers. Reference. It is. It so is. is it Mr. Rogers? Is there another day for Mr. Rogers? There might be. There should be. But it's also World Frog Day. It's World oh. Frog Day. Well, that, that's definitely why I wore it's this shirt. Bro- why I wore this sweater. I'm I slapping my some thigh. You hear on that? My sweater earlier. That's me slapping my thigh, my meat leg. I, I knew it was National Frog Day. 
That's wild. Yeah. World Maths Day. I mean, this oh is annoying. My God. This is a World Sparrow Day. This is all on today. It's too World much. World Storytelling Day. Good uh, Lord. And it ends. That's it. That's Thank God we've been I know. spared. That was a big list for today. That was but too much. <laughs> we um, we fell into a rabbit hole last night. Um, it was brought to my attention that there are these new websites that you could use uh, to create your own music using AI, artificial intelligence. Now, Not real intelligence. You know, I, I enjoy artificial intelligence to a point, but it's, it's becoming clear that uh, we don't have much time left on this planet, the humans. <laughs> we don't. There's no way. There's no way. <laughs> Why is that? Uh, I don't need to give an explanation. What is finding an AI that makes music for you? Uh, I'm like Nostradamus, man. I'm Morgan <laughs> Damas, and then I see things. Nostra dumbass. <laughs> oh, <laughs> damn. You just. <laughs> shit. Annihilated. You destroyed me. I put an explosion on top of me when you do that. You got to blow me the fuck up with that one. That, that deserves an explosion. Oh, my God. Damn. I'm still burning. I'm hurt. <laughs> So, we, we were making theme songs for the show last <laughs> night. Uh, um, we, we, found, we got one really good one, though. It's Excited. insane. I'll, we'll play that one first. Yeah, I think we should because uh, it's pretty crazy what this sounds like. So. Uh, I'm going to read you the, the lyrics uh, quickly. So, so the Lucky Sound yeah, Explosion song? Uh, yeah. I went to this website and I all I said was, hey... I, I mean, I didn't talk to it. I typed it in. I put the lyrics in. The lyrics were... Thank you for clarifying. It's time, it's time, it's lucky time explosion. Now you're singing the right, melody, giving it away. It'll melt your brain like the breath of a dragon. Your mother will Good knock line. you out with a fistful of quarters. I still don't understand that line, but all right. You know, if your mom had a fistful of quarters and she punched you in the face. My mom would never punch me in the face. I can't say it about my mom. Well, your mom's cool. I mean, and she, she would do it for love. Um, this is No Dream, Lucky Time Explosion. So we're going to play this song for you now. We hope you like it. This is all AI. I just simply said, turn these lyrics into a heavy metal song. That's all I did. So That's get it. ready for the new Lucky Time Explosion theme song. Here we go. Time, time, That's pretty crazy. <laughs> that sounded kind of awesome. I'm sweating. I love that. Wow. Unbelievable. So that's AI. That's that's un unfucking believable. But it didn't it didn't end there. So I wish it had ended there, and you will too in a minute. So we... this is a song, <laughs> and it's a cute song. It's a cute song. So I said, hey, he's I working want this, hard to convince you here. I want this childlike song, and I wrote these lyrics. It says. Pop me in the pooper, take it like a trooper. My mouth is the gate to hell and I welcome you inside. Ya ha ya, ya ha ya. I get so lonely on days like this. Baskets full of man milk, pools oh. full of gorilla cream. Oh. I only hope that Jesus meets me in my dream. Uh, I will reluctantly play this, but uh, you should go to jail. You're definitely on a list for this one. I have to hold the button down for this one because it's shorter. Here we go. Yikes. Now, uh, I, I do like the um, the flair she put on baskets full of man milk, which I wish you had never written those words because that's just awful. It happens sometimes. Now, so just to show you the AI, the power of the AI, I asked them to recreate this song, but simply do it in a very dramatic fashion uh, with a male voice. Mm, and, okay. th and this is what it gave me. This song, hop me in the pooper, take it like a trooper, my mouth is the gate to hell, <laughs> and I welcome you inside. 
Okay. <laughs> so I just want to let you know these will be after this weekend available for download if you join our Patreon. Oh yeah, and we want so, people to actually join the Patreon. Mario. We do. We I know, I know. <laughs> Things keep on happening in life, and I know that Patreon needs love. And I lie every episode saying that I'm going to go home and do it, but then I go home and it's like a bomb drops on me. Reality. And things I'm like, that happened today? I think that's really relatable. Well, there goes my night. It's definitely interesting doing the show now three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. It's a good, it's an interesting uh, to get a perspective on how fast time goes by and, you know, how much uh, stuff actually happens in our life. Like, there's a lot of cool stuff going on. And I'm seeing a lot of good stuff on the internet as well. That's where I'm only going to see it since I really don't leave my apartment unless I come here. So Yeah, I want to tell you about That's this. That's my window to life. I wanted to show you guys, since this is an art podcast. It is. And not just a man milk podcast. Yeah. Well, you know, we get a little, we get a little man milky Splish. sometime. But I don't even want to know what that is. I, I'm, it reminds me of the, uh, Could be the a few Hebrew. Do you remember the Hebrew sketch? For Is that where you got man milk? Hebrew? You remember Hebrew from um, Wonder Chosen? Mr. No, Tozies. well, you know me. I'm, I pull most of this stuff in my brain. Yeah, I think that's why you're in there. There's a, it, there's a sketch called Hebro on Wonder Shows and that talks about man milk. Hmm. And I think, and it's literally milk, though. It's not what hmm. you're thinking, you dirty, dirty perverts. But hmm. anyway, I wanted to talk about this art piece that I saw because it was really cool online. Uh, it's from an artist named, uh, I thought it was Yoan Capote, but I think it's pronounced John hmm. with a J. But check this thing out. This is a... A uh, concrete pillar that's this line in the middle here is uh, bronze teeth. And they're made from molds of like actual people's teeth, like dental tools. And this thing, this, this tension of this pillar being held up by these teeth, it's called stress. And I was actually like grinding my teeth when I first saw it. You know, that reminds so really me connected with of it. a great song by Mr. Bungle called Carry Stress in the Jaw. Oh, yeah? <clears throat> I love Mr. Bungle. They, I mean, older Mr. Bungle. I'm not so keen on their new you know well although they did sound like this when they were in high school but the grindcore thing although <laughs> mike patton has like 500 other grindcore bands i don't know why he has to turn mr bungle into one that's true but oh, wait i, I want to i have a surprise yeah. for you though I, I um i made some art last night oh and i want to show you guys the art i made and i want to get they, your i want to get your honest review of it i'm going to show you first the, the not so good one the one that i don't like oh as much. man i thought it was look art. at that no, I did see that. I do you like that? it. Oh, I posted that. That's why. And then but check you know this me. One I'm, in, I'm in the vapor. I love vapor. Yeah, wave. it's kind of vapor wave. It's, it's a totally boring. vapor wave -ish. It's a little I like chill. Um, check this out, I though. I like it. I wow. do like the colors. The colors are awesome. Yeah, lately I've been kind of like leaning into this um, 1980s aesthetic. You know, no, I love like, it. I mean, what you could obviously turn them into silkscreen prints. Could. Or digital prints here at Solus. Is what I'd probably do, considering I use all this like silk screen fake out That's, material there. Yeah, the I would probably tone. need to do them, uh, you know, here digitally. Yeah, no, they're cool, beautiful. Yeah, well, thank you. I'm a fan. Nice. So, What's your latest collage? What are you working on? Um, the latest collage. I was taking a lot of bits and pieces of um, Jack Kirby city pieces, and I'm going to create like my own Jack Kirby oh. city. I kind of slowed down a little bit because I've been putting a lot of time into this, uh, which is fine. But um, yeah, I, I got to a point where, I know, you know, which is fine. Yeah. I mean, I realized it's at fine. this point, you know, I, I hit a wall, you know, I'm making larger works and um, the money that I want for these larger works are not going to sell at group shows. They're not going to sell at pay in shows. They're, right. They're, there's only really a handful of ways that this could happen. Either I find gallery representation, which is definitely something I have to you know, go after uh, and try to accomplish before the end of this year or, you know, do a lot of art fairs like spring fairs. break. Fairs. I think we which, should do a fair. I think we should do spring break. Yeah, We absolutely. could talk about this, but um, we should. We should talk spring about break, uh, every year I'm like, man, I wish I did spring break. A lot of people that I know do that do uh, spring break make sales. So, you know. Have you, when's the last time you participated in the spring break art fair? Never. Never? Never. When, when's the last time you went to it? Never. <laughs> 
bad. Well, I think art fairs are oh, amazing, God. but you should definitely go to one. I mean, I know. I So when I was an art handler and I, I was working in that world, um, I made a bunch of trips to uh, Art Miami. I've, I've seen, you know, Freeze, uh, Scope, mm. uh, Select, Pulse. You do know, you always go so to many. the, uh, do you go to the Armory show when it comes through? I usually, that's the one I definitely check out. I always go to the Armory show. Um, yes. Yes. Uh, but we should definitely go. Once, mm. once, once they pop up and they they happen all year round here and there but um yeah i need to get out of my place a little bit more i'm pretty sure correct me if i'm wrong i'm like trying to look stuff up to fact check myself live as we do this as we talk about it but i am pretty sure that the spring break fair is one where artists don't pay i think right? you have to submit like free and be accepted yeah you have to submit and be well that's the case for all art fair even once you pay they, they have like a, even the ones where you pay like thousands of dollars, there's still some sort of like sham portfolio review process. Most of the time, if you pay, you'll get in, but there's always like a, there's always like a curation going yeah. on. And the, the less you have to pay, the more, you know, it's curated, which is kind of like true in other aspects of the art world as well. Gallery shows and stuff like that. But yeah, spring break's been really well, um, really well received. Uh, over the years from lots of artists that I've worked with and collectors as well. And I think it's, I'm, if I'm not wrong, I think Spring Break is one that gives like individual artists free space. They Maybe they rent out stuff for booths and stuff, but it's not, it's not one of the hugest art fairs, but it's definitely a big local one. Yeah. Like yeah. everybody I know in New York is, is big on Spring Break. Yeah, definitely have to be involved with that. There's so many, the affordable art fair, other art fair, I think that's Sa Sachi. Other art fair? I oh, think yeah. that's Sachi. But I think the interesting thing about other art fairs. I don't know is if that, other art fair is Sachi, because I was on like a panel once for the other with the other art fair. The, I think that's something to do with it. Maybe I'm wrong. She said I think we like, talked about this on an episode before already, but I was on a panel about art fairs and it was like well, it wasn't even about art fairs, it was a bunch of art fair and art event organizers. And the panel was supposed to be about how to do your own thing. Right. How to be like an independent artist and the and the well, panel person the, was like, I control every aspect of the fair. From the napkin colors to the music, like really upset. I'm pretty sure that was other art fair. Hmm. Yeah. Usually, with I, the few times that I've went to other art fair, it's artists that represent themselves. I, yeah. I don't think you usually see too many galleries there, mm. or, if at all any. And but the arts outer, or the art cider, outsider, outsider art, art fair. Cider, now the, that's one of my yeah. favorite. That one is cool. The only thing I have to say about the outsider art fair is that it kind of feels sometimes like a freak show in not a good way. Like you go around and you walk around the outside, you'll see some, a lot of cool stuff. But if you're at the booth and the booth attendant starts talking to you, most of the time in my experience at the other, at the outside art <laughs> fair is like, they come up, I'm like enjoying some cool work. I'm like, I'm like thinking this is really cool. And then the booth attendant will come up behind me and be like, this person has a schizophrenia and starts just telling me all these horrible things about the personality, <laughs> how diseased they are, how insane they are. But they think that that's you what know. sells the work. Yeah, totally. That's like the whole thing is like, that's the thing about the outsider art fair that really bugs me kind of is like, it's not just outsiders who are doing interesting work. They don't care about the fine art world. It's like put together. It's like shown the general vibe is always like, look how messed up these people are. You can buy artwork from the most messed up, screwed up people ever and i think it's like it sometimes it's not so sensitive to to mental health things no and then you have like jim carrey who comes in and then everyone's really mad that jim carrey is showing at the outside of because he's not an outsider he's a hollywood star right what do you think about that i mean i think that they should be happy that he's bringing people and press to the fair i agree you know i mean that's that's kind of how i feel it's like i, I kind of get their argument that he's not like an outsider artist because he's not an out but he's an outsider in visual art Right. And it's I just, don't think he's completely sane. Yeah, that's so true. So there you go. That's true. I don't he know. He fits right in. I don't know. He's kind of sane, I think. I think he knows it. Well, after that Andy Kaufman movie, who knows? That the was man such on the moon. a good movie, he, though. Yeah, it was amazing. God, he really became Andy Kaufman for yes, that he film. Did. He was doing the method acting thing or whatever, but his impression was just so good. He's been in a lot of mind fuckery movies, like things mm. that, like, the Truman. Truman Show is the awesome. Truman Show is insane. I never saw that um, 23 Eternal movie. Eternal Spotlight of the Schnitzel. Eternal Spotlight of the Schnitzel. What is it called again? Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. Yeah, very depressing. Yeah, that was, was that a Michelle Gondry movie, I think. Yeah, it's yeah. super depressing. Yeah, it is really, it is actually really depressing. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you, none of this, you got to buck up because this is International Happiness Day. Oh, shit. Day. Hey, yes, <laughs> pop me in the pooper. Take uh, it. No, I'm kidding. I'm not going to make it. I'm not going to make us listen to that again, but I will make us listen to that theme song again. 
What is that line? Lucky time explosion! This is no dream! Lucky time explosion! Your mom will knock you out with a fistful of quarters. Dragon's breath will melt your brain. Yeah, but your why, mom would your mom, you... why would your mom knock you out of a, with a fistful of quarters? Why probably would your mother ever do that? You probably missed the toilet. She's pissed. You didn't clean it up. She's fucking angry. What does she do? She grabs a fistful of quarters out of the piggy jar. She comes at you full force and, and knocks you out. This is, uh, this is speaking from experience, huh? That did not happen to me, and I do <laughs> not miss the toilet bowl. I am well trained. And after I'm done, I put that toilet seat down. Could you believe that? <laughs> I don't believe Well, I, I believe it now that you've been smacked around with a fistful of quarters for, for missing. Now, well, sometimes you got to learn the hard way. That's true. You do have to learn the hard way. Right. Yeah. You ever get uh, punished? I, I've, I've gotten, I've done things that definitely, I never got the fistful of quarters, but I definitely got the belt. I got the belt. And mm. I mean, I look back and I'm like, you know what? Made me a better person. Uh, I never did. Um, my parents were very kind of like progressive 90s parents. My dad's father like never said he loved him, so he would constantly tell me he, loved, he would always be embarrassing me and be like, "Oh, look, buddy," which is great. I That's love sweet. you. Thank you, Dad. Yeah. I it's mean, very I, nice. I got beat, and I was told and, I, I I was loved <laughs> sometimes simultaneously. I love you. you I love you. Shit. I love you. <laughs> uh, and then my mom got hit with a belt, so she was like 18 years old, and so she's very against that. And the only time it's, I shouldn't even tell the story because it makes me look so terrible. But when I was <laughs> the only time I like got hit. I remember specifically, I was like, I don't know, I was a little, probably under 10, being a little annoying brat at the mall. And you remember those bubble guns that came out? Oh, yeah, they, they just look, shoot the they, bubbles. They look like bubbly in the shoot bubble. I really wanted one of those from F.E.O. Schwartz in the mall in San Diego. And I was like, oh, buy me the bubble gun. It was like, you know, $39.99 or whatever, you know, $40 bubble gun. I'm like, I want the bubble gun. And my parents were like, no, I'm not getting you the stupid bubble gun. <laughs> like, you're not getting the bubble gun. And I was like, come on. And then finally, to make me stop, they, uh, that my mom just like gently like slapped the top <gasps> of my hand like that. Oh, like, just Lord. Like, you know, which is, I've never been spanked or anything in my life leading up to that point. And so I look at that and I see she's frustrated and did that out of frustration and like a little shithead, I just was like, you're not supposed to hit me. <laughs> like, you know, I start crying and milking it. she start it. crying too? She felt terrible. Yeah. She was like, right. She's like, ah, oh, no. And I'm like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. <laughs> sorry, mom, about that <clears throat> at the mall parking lot. No, my mom would be center. like, you deserve it. Yeah. Kidding me? Yeah. Well, For I mean, real. Yeah. But I, I, I never really went out of my way to be bad. I was just like, you know. I have ADHD. I was bouncing off the wall, making noise, not listening, you know, being annoying. It's so not, I have to get beat. And nothing's changed. What do you do with the kid that, that, that you beat him? Or you drug him with a bunch of um, Ritalin like what happened to me later on. But, Hold on. I'm taking but, notes about how to deal with you. <laughs> beat you. Get Ritalin. Drug him. I'm going to beat Morgan and drug him when he creates too many weird I'm okay songs. with that, too. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Every day is a new experience. That's true. That's a positive outlook. Yeah, 100%. So what's going on this weekend? What do we got? Oh, oh. What's very happening? excited, actually. This this Friday, we have a musician mm. coming on. It's going to be our oh. first performing uh, musician, Andrew Spaulding. Oh, wait, you're going to have him perform? Yeah. Oh, With nice. Guitar, just an acoustic. You know, he's not going to be rocking out like, look at time explosion. <laughs> it's time, it's time explosion. <laughs> So none of that. Oh my god, wait, I can't I can't turn it off now. Yeah, no! baby, leave it on. I found a way, I found a way, I found a way. Oh, <laughs> it's pretty what cool. a good song, yeah. It's pretty great. I swear I, I'm I gonna like juice it. up the Patreon, I promise. You gotta get us <laughs> what should, what nah. should we do for Patreon? Why don't you guys tell us in the comments yeah, the kind no, of weird totally, things you wanna see on Patreon? Or maybe what you'd like us to discuss. Leave it only in YouTube. Yes, and if you want to come on, you go crazy. Say whatever you want. Free your mind on YouTube to <laughs> us. We want to know. And if you have any psychological problems, we can assist you with that too. No, we can't. Yes, Absolutely we not. can. No, no, no. Hey, opinions but, are like assholes. Everyone has one. And one thing I will say is if you are living in the New York City, greater metro area, and you watch our show, first, thank you very much. Second, if you know an artist that you think we should talk about or feature on the show or have on as a guest, we would love to meet more artists. We'd love to meet more people working in the arts. So we have a big pool that we're pulling from, and you're going to have a lot of interesting guests coming up 
for the next uh, several months, but we'd like to meet more. So if you know somebody you think would be on the show, or if you want to be on the show yourself, please give us a line. Drop us an email at luckytimeexplosion at gmail.com. Woo! Yes. Where are we at time-wise? Oh, we're good. We got about uh, five, four minutes left. All right. We're well, right near the end of it. Anything else you want to plug? Well, next month I have a special guest. His name is Rob Cantrell. Oh, um, man. That's, and, that's uh, huge. That's cool. He actually, I think it was the first, um, what was the name of the show? The, the, uh, the comedy show? Which which comedy show? The There's comedy so many. where you you do stand up and you you get so it was like America's uh, idol American Idol for c- comedians. What? Yeah, there was a there was a whole comedy show and he won the first season. Mm. I remember he was telling jokes about rubbing wax fruit on homeless people's faces to tease them, and I thought that was like the funniest thing. But now <laughs> that sounds awful. That, it's bad. I mean, if I was homeless, I, I would. I mean, and I got a wax fruit at first, I'd be like, you know. I, right. I feel sensual about that, but then I would be like, ah, but I would probably eat the wax fruit too. But yeah, Rob Contrail's been in a lot of stuff. He's, he has. He's a, he's a funny dude. He's been yes. around for a long time. He's a good man. We That's used to exciting. Do, uh, my cousin Matt, who does the uh, Colbert uh, Late Show, uh, we used to do a show called The Fuck Monkeys Unite at Parkside Lounge. Mm, and, I remember uh, Parkside. I played there once. Oh, cool. Yeah, that's been around. It's one of the few, like, Venues that have been around as long as it's it has. Yeah, I had a roommate who used to work there as one of those like girls in the back that like you know trick you into basically getting table service. Like you can get a beer and you can go to the back where the people are performing. Right. Or you can go sit down there and then let the waitress bring you stuff and then give them a nice tip. Do that. Do that. These people need some money, and it's nice to not have to get up when you're watching a show. That's right. But what was wait? What was the monkey fuck triple? Twins or whatever. What uh, you the do? Fuck Monkeys United. So he just did a variety show. We have music. Oh. And this is when he worked on the Colbert Report uh, right. on Comedy Central. But we use a lot of um, comedians that would open up the show when you would go see the Colbert Report live. Mm. Um, it was a really cool time. It was yeah. a really cool time. And then actually, uh, this Sunday, uh, playing live is Ridiculous Bitch. Pretty awesome band, actually. Uh, the 24th is a Sunday. Uh, and it's at TVI, which is in Ridgewood, which is a really cool music venue. Nice. Um, if you haven't been there, you should definitely yeah, you check it out. TVI. So things are happening. Things are shaking. That's nice. Yeah. So yeah. next Friday, we have a musical guest. That's awesome. And yeah, next this, month, this Rob Friday. Cantrell. That's huge. I'm yeah, excited no, for things, that. Things are filling in. Things nice. are filling in. We're Speaking of which, we got to go make some prints for uh, the Morning Thunder. I just got an email order. So we got to go make some prints for Look the Morning Thunder. On, uh, the Morning Thunder is on Instagram. He's an awesome painter, actually. Really good. Yeah, it does Phenomenal. like um, bar glassware and alcohol drinks, like cocktails and stuff. Like, but very realistic Very realistic, paintings. very pretty. Awesome. And uh, one of the top sellers here at the studio. So check out the Morning Thunder. Hooray! We're going to go make some more art for him. We'll see you guys on Friday. Hasta la pasta. Bye! Thank you for listening to Lucky Time Explosion. Watch the video edition on Patreon, a green screen extravaganza experience available exclusively to official Lucky Timers. This episode was recorded at Sola Studios in Manhattan, New York, helping artists make cool shit since 2016.